The epic leader I chose was Martha Hill, the first director of dance at the Juilliard School. Martha Hill was a teacher and educator who inspired generations of dancers and choreographers and developed the first college-level programs offering professional training in modern dance. Martha's religious upbringing forbade dancing, however, that did not stop her from attending many different colleges and achieving many different goals as a dancer. This passion led Martha to Michigan's Battle Creek Normal School of Physical Education, where she graduated in 1920 and continued to teach there for three years after. In 1923, Martha accepted another teaching job at Kansas State Teachers College. From 1927 to 1929, she attended the University of Oregon in Eugene. From there, Martha went to Manhattan, where she met up with another famous Martha, Martha Graham, and worked for Graham's Company of Women. The collaboration of the Marthas led to many famous works, such as Heretic, and Primitive Mysteries. You could say Martha Graham was a mentor to Hill. After the Martha Graham Dance Company, Hill completed a BS degree from the Teachers College, Columbia University, and began teaching high school students at the Lincoln School of Teachers College. Then, in 1930, she was hired to teach at New York University in the Physical Education Department, where she soon became Director of Dance. This meant a change had to be made. Martha Hill had to reluctantly leave the Martha Graham Dance Company in 1931 because of her increasing teaching schedule. Then, in 1932, Martha was hired by the brand new Bennington College in Bennington, Vermont as chairman of the dance department. The dance theater on the Bennington campus now bears her name. In the summer of 1934, Hill initiated a summer dance festival on the Bennington College campus named the Bennington School of the Dance, which ran until 1942. And with a little bit of teamwork from colleagues like Martha Graham, Doris Humphrey, Charles Weedman and Hanya Holm. Martha went on to receive her master's degree from the New York University and became the co-director of the Connecticut College School of the Dance Summer Festivals. which later became named the American Dance Festival and is still currently housed at Duke University in North Carolina. It wasn't until 1951 when William Schumann, 
president of the Juilliard School, hired Hill to be the first director of dance. Hill and Schumann together created a training ground for dancers that would be equally split between ballet and modern. Martha remained the director of dance at Juilliard until 1985, training generations of dancers to the highest level of technique and artistry. In recognition of her epic leadership skills, Many dancers, including Ethel Winter, have won the Martha Hill Dance Fund Lifetime Achievement Award. Martha was also the recipient of many awards herself, including the City of New York Mayor's Award of Honor for Arts and Culture in 1984, along with honorary degrees from Adelphi University, Bennington College, Mount Holyoke College, and Tosin State University. Martha's contribution to dance included serving on panels for the United States government and the City of New York, among many others. Her motivation, her passion, the encouragement she gave to her dancers, and her love for the art of dance are all what make her an incredible leader. On November 19, 1995, at her home in Columbia Heights, Brooklyn, New York, Martha Hill passed away at the age of 94. The Martha Hill Dance Fund was established in her memory as an educator and creative force. Martha's passion will live on in the heart of dancers for decades to come. <laughs>